Welcome biologists, we are going to be looking at communicable diseases 4.1.1 for OCR A level biology specification A. We're looking at the primary and secondary immune responses um, to include T and B memory cells. Now we had a look in the previous video about how T and B memory cells are actually made during the humoral and also cell mediated immune response. So if you need to go back and have a recap of that. But we're going to look at now the primary and secondary immune response. So the primary immune response is in response to an initial exposure of the pathogen or antigen. And obviously the second exposure is the second time that person is exposed to the pathogen or disease or antigen and therefore generates a secondary immune response. Now, as you can see, the secondary immune response generates a lot more antibodies because a bigger concentration of antibodies. And it's also over a shorter amount of time, or sorry, a shorter time. Um, so the reasons for this is because during my primary response, I don't have any memory cells. Whereas after my immune response, I have now my T and B memory cells that have been generated through uh, humoral and cell mediated response. Because I have these memory cells, I, I now have immunological memory to that certain antigen. So when that antigen re-enters the, the organism's uh, organism again, it will trigger an immune response. And that immune response will happen quicker because uh, clonal selection and clonal expansion will occur a lot more quickly. This will result in a, a higher concentration or a higher number of plasma cells being made a lot quicker. And therefore, because I've got more plasma cells, this means I'm going to get more antibodies or higher concentration of antibodies. And this is all going to occur a lot more quicker because I've got that immunological memory from my memory cells. So please use this key terminology when talking about secondary immune response and the primary immune response. Please make sure you're talking about clonal selection, clonal expansion, plasma cells and antibody concentration. <clears throat> Here is another graph if you do want to pause and practice using that key terminology that I've just mentioned, please do so now. And here are a couple of things that we could be vaccinated again that could cause that primary or secondary immune response. We can actually use live microorganisms with similar antigens to what we want to vaccinate against, such as smallpox. We've got harmless um, pathogens, such as measles or TB. We can have dead pathogens, such as typhoid or cholera. Uh, just antigens on their own, such as hepatitis B. And we can also use harmless toxins, so we can take the toxin and make it harmless, such as in tetanus. Now, there's two different ways in which the government can use vaccinations. One of them is herd vaccinations, where a high percentage of people or the population will have immunity to that certain disease. And therefore, if they have immunity to it, it's less likely to be passed on to other people. Ring vaccination, this is where only the most vulnerable people are protected by immunity. Uh, so this is usually those people who are elderly, uh, those that are young, uh, for example, babies who haven't got a developed immune system. It can be um, the babies inside a pregnant lady's belly. So the pregnant lady will also quite often get vaccinations to help the development of the immune system of her unborn child. It'll also be those people, for example, who are undergoing immunosuppressant therapy. For example, anyone who's got HIV or anyone who's undergoing um, chemotherapy, because both of those um, patients would be undergoing treatment that would or have a disease in, in terms of HIV that is detrimental to their immune response. So these kinds of people would be vaccinated within our ring vaccination. So that's it, guys, for our primary and secondary immune response. You just need to make sure you're mentioning your T and B lymph, uh, memory, cell, memory cells, mentioning clonal and clonal expansion, clonal selection, and plasma cells as well, guys. Good luck with your exams. Make sure you don't use the words amount, it, they, or size.